let's look at this question. <clears throat> a sheet of metal measuring 8 meters by 10 meters has four squares. Okay. So this is a uh, metal sheet which is 10 meters by 8 meters has got four squares. So this is these are the four squares at the edge. Each of x centimeters cut from each corner. So these are the four corners and these are the four squares as shown in the diagram. So then what's done? The four sides are folded along the dotted line. So you, you fold a, along this dotted line to make an open box. I hope you can understand if you fold, actually you cut this out, you cross, you cut this up, cut, you, you remove this part. So these squares you're going to remove. So if you remove these squares by cutting along the dotted line, so you cut from year to year and year to year. And so this part will come off. Okay, you're taking off these parts. And then if you fold al al along the dotted line, I hope you can see, you can get a box like this. So this length, this will be the length of the box. So the total length is 10. You got an x here, you got an x here. So the length of this would be 10 minus 2x. So 10 minus 2x is basically this side. This side is 10 minus 2x. So the length is 10 minus 2x. The width is, this. the total width is 8 meters. So you've got x meters here and you've got x meters here. So if you take away 2x's, so this, this length is 8 minus 2x. So this length, the width here, the width here is 8 minus 2x. I want you to think what will be the height. This is the height of the box. This is the height of the box. And when you fold along these dotted lines, these four dots, or sorry, these four squares, uh, or these two sides join together. And I hope you understand the height of this box is x. So the length is 10 minus 2x. The width is 8, this, this is the width. Okay, so the width is 8 minus 2x. The length is 10 minus 2x. And the height is x. The question is, what's the maximum volume of this box? So there is a particular value of x. Uh, if you cut at that point, you'll get the maximum volume. Okay, so let's understand what's the volume of this box. So volume, this is a cuboidal box, is length times width times height. So your volume would be 10 minus 2x times 8 minus 2x times x, which is the height. So I can factor out, I can factor out a 2 from this bracket, so I'll put a big bracket. So this is 2 times 5 minus x, 5 minus x here. Yeah? And you can again take a 2 common from this bracket. So again, you got 4 minus x times you got an x outside sitting. So this is 2 times 2, which is 4. And you got an x here. So I'll write this the same as 4x times 5 minus x times 4 minus x. So this is the application of differentiation. Now, this example is an application of differentiation. You want to maximize the possible volume of the box. So we're going to use differentiation. So first let us expand this. So the volume in terms of x is, uh, let me keep 4x like this. And if you expand, this is 20 minus 5x minus 4x and plus x squared. I hope you understand the simple expansion. So volume is equal to 4x times, this is, let us simplify, so this is 20 minus 9x plus x squared. So volume in terms of x is, expanding with 4x, this is 80x minus 9 times 4 is 36x squared plus 4x cubed. Now for maximum volume, your dv by dx your derivation has to be zero. I'll explain why. Uh, 
your dv by dx has to be zero. So we can write for maximum volume, for maximum volume, dv by dx is should be equal to zero. Okay, so you get the maximum and minimum when your derivative is zero. So this is the we want to maximum. So your dv by dx should be zero. So let us differentiate v with respect to x. So dv by dx using the polynomial rule. So differentiation of 80x is 80. Drop the power down. So that is 72x. And decrease the power by 1. So if you decrease the power of 2 by 1, it is x. And when you drop this power down, so this is 12x squared. And that is equal to 0 to find the maximum volume. So we can say this is 12x squared minus 72x plus 80 is equal to 0. Now if you don't have a graphic calculator, you can use a quadratic formula and then factorize it. Okay, or And then you can set that equal to 0. So I have a graphic calculator, so I'm going to use a graphic calculator to find out this. I'll go to the equation menu and then go to the polynomial. So it's, oops, not solving. Polynomial second degree. So my A is 12, my B is minus 72, and my C is plus 80. And then go to solve. So you got 4.52 and 1.47. I'll round this in 2 dp. So it'll be 4.53 and 1.47. So rounding it to 2 dp, it is 4.53 and so x is, we can say x is 4.53, 4.53 meters or x is 1.47 meters. Now which of them is right or is both of them right? Okay, now this is where you have to put your thinking cap till here, it's more or less mechanical. Now, when x is, when, now one thing that you should understand, your 2x, so yeah, this is 10 minus 2x, so now 2x, 2x cannot be greater than 5, 2x cannot be greater than 10, and 2x cannot be greater than 8, because if 2x becomes greater than 8, the length will become negative. Okay, so let me, so this is where you have to put your thinking cap. Now, your length is 10 minus 2x. Okay, and your width is 8 minus 2x. Okay, this implies 2x has to be less than 8. So we don't even need to look at this. 2x has to be less than 8 because only if 2x is less than 8, this whole thing will be greater than 0. So this implies x has to be less than 4. x has to be less than 4. This implies x is not equal to 4.53. Or using a simple logic, if x is 4.53, can you understand 10 mi 8 minus 2x will become negative? Because if this is 4.53, this is greater than 8. And this implies x should be 1.47 meters. 1.47 meters, or when you change this into centimeters, you get the maximum volume when the x, the cut at x, or the cut of x is 147 centimeters. So let me show this on a, how to do on a graphic calculator if you know only this equation. Directly from this, we can say, we can find the answer, just to check our answer. So first, we need to go to table and type in the equation. The equation that we know is bracket 10 minus 2x, bracket 8 minus 2x times x. Now, as we just discussed, your x has to be less than 4. I'll go to set from 0 to 4. 
at a pitch of say 0.2, step of 0.2, and this table will tell me what are the possible values of. Can you, when you come to 1.47, when when you come to 1.46, okay, uh, actually it's so see, can you see 1.4? You get 52.416, and 1.6 it is. This is your x, and this is the volume. So when it is 1.4 meters, it is 52.41, and when it is 1.6, it is 52.24. So we, I have done this to find which are the, what's the scale that I need when I'm drawing the graph of uh, this equation. So first, now I'll go to the graph menu. And this is the equation, so I'll have to take my cursor like this, and then I know the scale of x and y. So I know my scale of x should be between 0 to, so let me take up to 10, or let me to go up to 4, and I step off, say, 0 0.2, and I know my y value should be 0 to, I'll put a slightly more than 52, which is I'll go up to 60, a step off, scale of 2, and then draw the graph. Can you see? As x increases, the volume, so on x-axis I've taken x, and on the y-axis we've got the volume. Okay. And then you go to g sol maxima. So you get the maximum volume, volume of 52.513 centimeter, on, or yeah, meter cube, when you have the x of 1.47 meters. So in, in short, what have you said that when you do a cut of 1.47 meters or 147 centimeters, you get the maximum volume.